This week we went to the Festival of the Grape in a little Tuscan town called Scansano. Questa settimana siamo andati alla festa dell'uva in un piccolo paese toscano che si chiama Scansano. Scanzano is famous for its Morellino wine, but the Festival of the Grape is celebrated in all of Italy because now is the season of the grape harvest. Scanzano è famoso per il suo Morellino, ma la festa dell'uva è festeggiata in tutta Italia in questo periodo perché è la stagione della vendemmia. If you're interested in seeing a video that I made on the Vendemia harvest and the difficulties that wine and olive oil producers face in Italy, I'll put a link on the screen now. Se vi interessa vedere un video che ho fatto sulla vendemmia e le difficoltà che i produttori di vino e olio hanno in Italia, metto un link ora sullo schermo. In this part of Tuscany, there is still that contact with the vineyards. This is a very agricultural area and it makes me happy to imagine that once upon a time, this was the norm in all of the country. In questa parte della Toscana è rimasto ancora quel contatto con le vigne. È una regione importante per l'agricoltura. Mi piace immaginare che una volta tutto il paese era così. Every time I go to one of these festivals, because they have them all year round for all kinds of food, mushrooms, strawberries, wild boar, I marvel at how these events bring together all generations of a town. It's about being in the square together, about celebrating a simple or in this case historic ingredient that their ancestors have been growing and cooking and eating for centuries. Ogni volta che vado ad una sagra, le fanno tutto l'anno, le sagre dei funghi, delle fragole, del cinghiale. Mi meraviglio di come questi eventi attirano tutte le generazioni in un paese. Significa stare insieme nella piazza e festeggiare un ingrediente semplice ma storico che i loro antenati hanno coltivato, preparato e mangiato per secoli. The procession of tractor-driven floats were all handing out free wine and bread and cheese and grapes. And the god of wine, Bacco, or Dionysus as the Greeks called him, finally arrived in the square as bambinis squealed, teenagers flirted and adults danced and sang.
There was an antique market under the trees with vintage linen and other nostalgic treasures. C'era un mercatino sotto gli alberi con lino antico e altri oggetti del passato. Guido and I fell in love with this blue and white dish. Can't you just imagine it in our kitchen, piled high with vegetables or fish or pasta? Io e Guido ci siamo innamorati di questo piatto bianco e blu. Non sarebbe perfetto nella nostra cucina, in una bella montagna di verdure o pesce o pasta. Guido bought this for my mother. It says grandmother's vegetable garden. Guido ha comprato questo per mia mamma. And this one for me, questo per me. After the procession, everyone flooded the alleyways where locals offered more wine for one euro a glass and began barbecuing salsiccia, a beloved staple in Tuscany and the perfect salty accompaniment to a glass of red morellino. As we were winding through the cobblestone streets, we kept smelling focaccia or schiacciata and seeing people devouring this hot, crunchy bread. But then we realized it wasn't just focaccia, it was fried pizza dough tossed in sea salt, the type of snack where you think you'll just have a bite or take one to share and then end up devouring the whole thing and lining up for more. Absolutely delicious. Did you enjoy that? If you did, consider subscribing to this channel. It's just one little click for you and it means so much to me. I'm almost at 280,000. If you click the little bell as well, it tells you when I uh, publish a new episode. A big thank you to my patrons, uh, the viewers who uh, donate even just a dollar a month uh, to this channel. It means that I can stay at home and work from home and be present with our baby, which is very important to me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next episode. Alla prossima!